If you want to constrain the location of an entity without constraining any other entity, the anchor tool is a great option. Click line 3, and we'll go up to our constraint icon. Click it, and we're going to fix it to that location. And now notice, line 3, I cannot move it. However, I can change the length of line 3 because uh, the V stands for a vertical constraint. And uh, what I can do is I can click on line 2 and line 4 and constrain it to 0.1 inch. And notice it moves down to its proper constraint. I'm going to click the constraint again. I'm going to constrain the length between line 1 and line 5. I'm going to mark this as 0.1 inches also. And notice as I constrain them, the lines turn green. And that lets you know that those lines uh, are constrained. And now notice I constrained line 2. And I'm going to type in 1 inch. But the line is purple, so it's over constrained. Purple means that it's over constrained. And it's because we've anchored uh, line 3. Same thing with uh, line 1. I can uh, constrain it, type in point, uh, or actually 1 inch. And uh, you'll notice if I delete the anchor, the, the proper effect goes in, and all the lines are green. I'm going to delete some of these constraints and show you how to auto-constrain Click line 1 and line 3, constrain it to 1 inch. Notice that this constraint only consists of the length of line 1, and it's connected. Now let's I'll delete this and show you that you can actually um, choose line 2 and line 6. And if you can't choose line 6, just go to the specification tree. And where is line 6? So there it is. It's up there. Choose line 6. And notice that it's 1 inch. Constrain. Click, uh, double click on it and click more. And notice that now it's line 2 and line 6 rather than the length. I'm going to delete all these and now we're going to use the auto constraint icon and we're just going to click all the lines at one time. Notice that they all highlight and elements to be constrained are three lines and it automatically constrains them uh, and so that might be a lot faster if you just want to multi-select some lines. Click more and notice that it uses a point definition between the point 1 and point 11. Because all lines have two points. And because line 1 has point 1 and point 11 as its uh, start and end point, it uses that as the auto constraint. Now here we have the animate. And you can only animate one constraint at a time. And we've picked uh, the highlighted constraint here. And I'm going to animate the first value to 0 0.025 inches and the last value to 1 inch. And the number of steps, I'm going to choose 50. And we're just going to play, hit the play button. And notice that it animates what the effect of changing those dimensions would do to your uh, sketch. Now I'm going to just use the loop through and hit it. Now it's just gonna, going to continuously loop through the animation. And then the rightmost button is it just plays once. 
from beginning to end. And you can hide the constraints while you do this. I'm going to loop through again. Notice it just uh, hops up and down. And of course, changing the numbers of the steps or increasing them will make it go slower because now it goes 500 times within that boundary that you've set. Or you can decrease it and it's five. Now it goes really fast because it's only going five steps. 